I think we're live. Yeah, here we are. Hello! Welcome no, to... Don't, don't. What? I, like I mean, it's supposed to be big Marky Berry commentary. <laughs> yet again, I mean, Paul assured us, because he stiffed us last week, yeah. or last time, that he was going to skip Worlds and he was going to be here. Yeah. And where is he? Worlds. Worlds. Yeah. So. Anyways, so yeah, I guess welcome... Sorry, I, we keep promising that we're going to have big Marky Berry commentary, but <laughs> it never happens. And uh, so Yuli, evidently, now that he got his ribs back to normal, yeah. he thinks he can go and win some money playing disc golf instead of, you know, honoring his commitments to, you know, the disc golf community here in North Carolina. Anyways. Yeah. Oh, well. But next we do, time. Yeah. Next time. And we have some exciting stuff to talk about, even we though do. he's not here. Yeah. So we got some new stuff in the store we want to talk about. Yeah. New stuff coming to the store new we want to talk coming. about. And new stuff happening here in the near future that we want to talk about. So you want to stay tuned for that. Yeah, you do. So uh, first thing is, what's new to the store? Oh, well, in the realm of dried meat, <laughs> we have a new flavor of double G jerky. We do. And that is made with bite-sized morsels of Paul McBeth. No, I told you that's not what it is. It, really? No, it's it's still beef. Okay. But it's got Paul McBeth's name on it because we spon it's sponsoring his foundation. Oh, okay. So, disregard what I said about it being made of real you, McBeth. You, you, you actually are not going to be eating parts of Paul McBeth. But, okay. uh, cool. so it's barbecue yeah. flavor. Yeah. And uh, a, a percentage of the proceeds do, do go to the Paul McBeth Foundation, so that's kind of cool. Uh, so that brings up our total flavors to five. Five, yes. Five flavors of double G jerky. Yeah. So we personally like the boom sauce. Uh, we've heard the garlic is great. Uh, that's probably our second biggest seller is the garlic, mm -hmm. the garlic lover. So uh, make sure you come in and grab some of that. Uh, what about discs? We got oh, new discs. Yes. So. For uh, everybody who doesn't know, out of Texas, there's a mint disc company, uh, and we've got their Mustangs. Let me go get those for you. And here's the thing. As a proud owner of a Mustang, not the horse, but the car, I was really looking forward to the logo. Um, and they kind of whiffed on the logo. It's kind of an emo horse logo. It's like, it's like he's the lead singer of an emo horse band. Yeah, it does kind of <laughs> look that way. But that's in there. Um, uh, premium apex plastic so it's a really good feeling plastic it feels like a stiffer star plastic um, if you uh, if you will so uh, and it looks really cool it's got a swirly look to it kind of like what um, this mania I mean ESP. Uh, uh, ESP plastic what Discraft yeah. does with ESP and then for all you Pokemon fans out there there's the <laughs> uh, the uh, royal plastic uh, that stamp looks kind of like it belongs in a fire type Pokemon card it does so, so logos aside, uh, pretty cool discs, uh, mid-range disc coming from Mint Disc, and if it's anything like the other discs we got from Mint, they're going to sell pretty well because mm -hmm. um, they're for um, uh, some of their models have been really, really popular. So as soon as we let them go online, they get snatched up. Oddly enough, by people in Texas. Yeah, Texas exports the, way too many, and they got to bring them back. And we mail them right back to <laughs> Texas. So, so that's kind of cool. The other new product that we're kind of excited about is we've teamed up with um, Hempfield Botanicals uh, to bring you a line of pain relief products um, that are hemp based. Uh, don't worry, there's no THC in it. It's all um, um, CBD oil. So we have a pain reliever salve that you can put on any of your joints that feels uh, achy. Uh, we also have the ointment that will rub in, you know, a salve kind of stays on, it's topical and it stays on for a while. Then we got the ointment that you rub in, and we also have an oral one uh, that is a pain relief uh, oral drop, um, mm -hmm. if you will. Um, and we also have some uh, lip balm. I think that right there That's is the, the muscle uh, recovery. The, yeah. So it, it's all related except for the lip balm, unless your lips are muscles and they hurt. But all of our products are around um, muscle recovery, muscle soreness, getting you back to better health, uh, recovering more quickly. Um, it's uh, really good. Uh, our folks here, we actually have tried it. My wife has a bad knee. She uses the salve on her bad knee. 
So, um, so it's good stuff, and we're excited about partnering with Hempfield Botanicals. Um, uh, so, if you need any um, of those products, feel free to come in, get you some, uh, get you some muscle relaxants. Um, and again, it's made with CBD oil, which is supposed to be a, a miracle product. Um, and uh, I know, um, but it's really popular, and it's a really good company. It's actually based in my hometown of Lancaster, Pennsylvania. So, I'm pulling for them to succeed. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, what else do we have new in the store? Is that covered? Is that right? Uh, well, yeah. we've got, oh. uh, how could I forget? This is a pretty cool new product. How many times have you been trying to find your disc and it just keeps falling out of your sweaty hand <laughs> as you pull it from the bag? Well, no more. We now have the friction gloves for disc golf. You can see they've got a nice grippy palm. Very tactile. Uh, it's, uh, uh, they're tight, they're easy to feel. We have them in uh, single hand options, left or right. You can buy both if you're for you, yeah. <laughs> for you, And for you weird lefties out there, we got some left-handed gloves in here. So all different sizes. So if you're looking at picking up a glove, again, to help you on those uh, overly humid days, uh, uh, feel free to come in and pick those up. We also have uh, another company with Friction in the name, Friction Labs. We got their chalk spheres or their chalk balls, uh, which again is a really good product to help keep your hands dry. Uh, We actually used some of their gel yesterday uh, when we went and played and you put that stuff on and it stays on uh, throughout the whole round and we had no problems with it. Yeah, we're probably going to order some of that. Yeah, so it's good stuff. Uh, Yeah, this is going to uh, be a whole lot better than any of the uh, grip sacks with its uh, slow release of chalk. This is going to get you a lot of chalk fast. And it lasts a long time too. It does. So, and we have one that's open if you want to come in and just feel and see how much chalk there is. It, you'll get a lot of chalk. I mean, you'll look like Kona Panis before the round is over. Um, Kona uses real thick chalk. So, um, oh. We also got some new Discraft. Um, so we're not getting a bunch of Discraft discs in, but we're getting a bunch of Discraft uh, apparel in. So we got these, uh, these are the dry fit shirts uh, that feel really good. Um, so if you're out on the um, uh, course and it's really humid, uh, these will actually help wick the sweat away and it's not heavy like cotton, so it won't weigh you down. Uh, we also have some Made in America Discraft t-shirts. So if you wanna come in and grab those, and we have some new microfiber towels. Uh, uh, Paige Pierce, uh, Paul Macbeth, and the Buzz uh, microfiber towel. So if you're into that, uh, you'll want to come and uh, pick up one of those. So these are in short supply. So if you want one of these, you might want to hurry up. Come and in quick. Come in quick and get them. So uh, somebody's already called dibs on this one, but if you get here before they do tomorrow, then <laughs> it's all you. Yeah, that was my wife because she likes bees. Um, so the other cool thing, and I'm sure you all have heard the news, uh, that Discmania is now going to start manufacturing their own uh, products. And um, the uh, <laughs> it looks no, like that, it's but not. it's not that. But uh, we were able to order uh, some of the P2s, the new P2s that are being uh, manufactured by Discmania, Discmania Manufacturing Incorporated. Uh, unfortunately, they're not going to come in until later in the fall or late summer, early fall, because the PDGA, PDGA hasn't approved them yet. So they filed them with the PDGA, but it hadn't been approved. But it should be a problem. Um, uh, plus, so, they're on a Viking boat. So <laughs> it takes a while to row all the way over here. They are coming from Scandinavia, so it's going to take a while to get here. Yeah. Uh, the other cool thing is uh, we are soon going to have some Jeremy Coling uh, Thunderbirds in the store. So be on the lookout on social media for that announcement. And we're also going to have some of the new hydrogen putters. What? From Loft. I think that's how you say it. Yeah, because speaking of uh, they're from, Norwegian. They're from they're, Denmark. They're, so. they're, yeah, those slow Viking boats. Yeah, so be on the lookout for those too. So uh, that's kind of cool getting some of that stuff in. Um, and as always, I'd like to think that we have the largest selection of used discs in the triangle. I know we have the largest selection of new discs. Mm-hmm. But use disc. Uh, if we're not, if we're not the largest, we're the most organized. Yes. Use disc selection. So we have all of our use discs um, sorted out by distance drivers, mid ranges, fairway drivers, and putters. 
So make sure you come in and it turns over quickly. So we get new ones in all the time. So make sure you come in and check out our used disc selection. We've got a scale there so you can weigh them if you don't believe it. Yeah. So, uh, so that's some fun new stuff that's going to be coming uh, in the next you know, 30 days or so. So make sure you follow us on social media. So the other cool thing is, and uh, don't tell our wives because they don't know this. So we're in this together with our wives and uh, my wife is the bookkeeper, yeah. so she watches all the money. And, uh, but hopefully she's already asleep. Yeah. We're gonna start doing giveaways on Eat Street After Dark. Mm -hmm. so, um, so make sure you tell your neighbors, tell your friends, wake up the kids, make, gather around the camera. Uh, we're gonna start doing giveaways with the very next uh, Yeet Street um, After Dark. So uh, we're hoping to get more people. So mm -hmm. we wanna reach a certain number of people before we start doing the giveaways. So make sure you tell everybody about it uh, because uh, we got some cool giveaways that we're gonna give away. Yeah. Um, and it could include some of the stuff that maybe we've talked about tonight. Yeah. So, uh, so stay tuned for that. Um, the other cool thing is if you're in the Morrisville area, we're going to be putting together a putter league really soon. We are also are going to be doing clinics, hopefully with a uh, local pro. We have those? We do. Uh, I'm not going to say which one. I'm going to keep okay. that a little bit of a secret, but uh, hopefully that's going to be starting here soon. Um, and they're going to be free clinics. So you're going to come and be able to work out in front of a local pro and get critiqued on your form. Uh, they'll help you work on putting and uh, you know your your footwork and all that stuff and it's going to be free to you So what, what's better than a free uh, clinic? clinic. From a so pro? speaking of free clinics, I've got this corn on my no, foot. No, 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 I told you we can't we can't get medical advice on um, Facebook live. That's not oh. you, so you're going to have to just go to the doctor Okay. So it, I wish that was the first time he talked about his corn today, yeah. but it's it's not. I'm from it's, Iowa. So we love corns. <laughs> He actually is from Iowa. Yeah. I don't know if you've ever met somebody from Iowa, but this is what it looks like. Yeah. So that's what you have to look forward to. Thanks, Iowa. Um, okay, and I think that's it. Do we have anything else? Uh, no. Okay. I don't think so. Well, there you go. So uh, once again, we want to thank the disc golf community in Triangle. You guys have been very supportive and very nice to us. Um, even though we are somewhat creepy at times, where we stand maybe too close to the, uh, to the camera. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but thank you. Uh, it's been great. We've, we've had a blast. Our wives have had a blast. Um, uh, this has been nothing but a, a pure joy for us. We've been blessed by it. Um, oh, one thing else I want to mention is one of our, um, team Yeet Street members, a guy named Keaton Ketchum, um, actually put out a video on the new, uh, Let 64 Rive. Um, mm -hmm. so if you want to see that and see what the Rive is all about, check out, uh, Keaton Ketchum. Uh, on YouTube. Uh, we also have it on our website, uh, the video on our website. So, and be looking for more um, uh, reviews of this coming out from our Team Yeet Street members. So, more about Team Yeet Street coming out in the next uh, little bit. We're excited about what we're doing. And um, so, yeah, so, um, and Keaton did a great job. Great job, Keaton, yeah. if you're watching. So. Uh, we also have a question about when are we going to get the trust from Latitude? When it comes out, we'll get it. So I'm actually looking forward to it. So I'm a big yeah. fan. We actually are big fans. We both have the grace and really like it. Great and, forehand disc, by the way. Yeah, and I think the truss is going to be a great mid-range, too. I mean, the plastic is great. If you have not come in and felt, at least picked up and felt that new plastic, the, the grand plastic, it's wonderful plastic. It's, it's seamless. It's grippy. Uh, I love it. Um, and again, the grace has been a great disc. Um, some of my longest throws over the last uh, couple weeks have come from the grand. So I work from the uh, Grace uh, in Grand Plastic. So, uh, but as soon as it comes out, uh, believe me, we'll be on it and we'll have it in. Um, I'm hoping. I actually have asked uh, Lat 64 if we can get a, a version in, so that again somebody like Ke um, Keaton can actually do a video for us, so that you can see how it flies and what to expect when uh, when they get here. So, uh, be on the lookout for that. Uh, that's touch and go because you know discs are in short supply these days, and um, asking for a freebie um, is probably. Uh, is it a bit presumptuous? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. But uh, but again, we're just trying to help that sixty four yeah. sell more deaths. So anything oh, else? Ah, yes. One yes. more thing. This Saturday at like three o'clock till uh, six, maybe we're going to be out at the uh, community fun fair there at the in the Morrisville Community Park. Um, 
and we're not going to be selling anything. We're just going to have some, uh, some, a basket up and some discs and kind of teaching young kids and whoever else wants to learn how to, how to putt. Hopefully better than we do. Yeah. So, uh, come back and say, uh, come by and say hi. We also are going to be talking about, um, hopefully, um, jamming up some interest in the pop-up course that's coming to Norrisville, mm -hmm. um, over at Cedar Forks Park. Um, and hopefully encouraging people to go out and tell their city council members to approve the permanent course over in Church Street. Yes. So, because that, that would be, be so cool to have one because there are 16 courses within 50 miles of our location. None are in Morrisville. And I don't know why I'm stirring. I don't know either. But, uh, but none are in Morrisville. So we need to get a couple courses here in Morrisville. Yes, we do. Because Morrisville is a great place and the people here are great and there's businesses here that would love to have uh, more people come in uh, to the area. So, uh, so yeah, come out and see us on Saturday. That'll be fun. Yeah. And I think that's yeah, it. That's all I have. Is that all it? Okay. Yeah. Okay, again, thank you guys. We'll all see right. you next time on Eat Street After Dark. Once again, gotta fin find the button. <laughs>